Hello, I'm Leah Scott Price, and I am a comic book author. And this is a Q&A about my writing, my comic book series, and my characters. What is wrong with my vampire guardian angels? Everything, and not in a good way. This is a comic book series that questions the role of guardian angels and turns them into something no one expects and into something evil. The concept of guardian angels as evil vampires is uh, pushing the envelope in a what-if situation. So basically, my comic books force us to face the unthinkable. We always expect guardian angels to save, help, or protect us. What we don't expect is for them to commit acts like murder, violence, and other unexpected things. But in this comic book, they do. The lesson here and the point of the comic book series is that we don't know what guardian angels really are and if they're even real. Pop culture insists that they are and this is where fiction and imagination come in and to basically turn these myths into something different entirely. We as humans always rely on a higher power to save us and materialize out of nowhere and solve our problems. We put too much faith and reliance on something supernatural. And the problem is we don't really know what these entities are who we are summoning or praying to in my comic book series. Again, it's a what-if situation. It could be something dangerous, something that kills instead of helps us. And my guardian angels are all sorts of wrong. Uh, they are complete psychopaths, sociopaths. They rebel against their traditional pop culture roles. And now they're vampires. And when you pray to one, they get angry. They get annoyed at our constant begging and whining to them. Now they would rather put us, or humans, out of their misery rather than help them so they can eat humans <laughs> and shut them up for good. So my vampire guardian angels take advantage of a human dependence on a supposedly higher power. Humans have always believed that they can call on or rely on a supernatural higher power or being to save them. And that's where the vampire guardian angels come in and they take advantage of this. They take advantage of that reliance and trust. Now again, this is a what-if scenario and story. It's not meant to be sacrilegious. And also the term guardian angel is not actually found in the Bible. It's a pop culture belief made up in movies and other media. Angels in the Bible were not the stereotypical beautiful beings in white gowns, wings, and halos. They were more like terrifying Old Testament animal-human hybrids, just like my own vampire guardian angels are a hybrid between a vampire, a guardian angel, and a serial killer. It was only the messenger angels in the Bible who had human features. The church also called angels non-corporeal beings. St. Augustine said angels is the name of their office, not their nature. The Apostle Paul specifically said not to worship angels. And in the Bible, God commanded angels who were directed to serve, guard, and protect humans. However, Satan too was an angel and so was the Philippine Tagalog, D.T. Sitan, who was an angel of punishment. So an angel can be in any form. They can choose to be good or evil. They can rebel. They can mercy kill. And they can become anything, even a vampire. Please like and subscribe to my videos and watch my Vampire Guardian Angels films and animation. And please check out my work at patreon.com backslash Price, where I have my comic book series, my novels, and my drawing lessons and tips, and my writing tips, and Q&A and facts about my vampire guardian angels characters. Thanks for watching.